Welcome to Real Food. Today I'm going to share with you one of my newest、um, rice recipes. And this rice is so amazing. I have been practicing it for a while now, and now I feel like I'm ready to share this recipe.、Um, you'd think rice is, is a very simple and easy to prepare. Um, ingredient.、Um, and it is true, you know, you can just、uh, boil rice and there you go, that's your basic boiled rice.、Um, it's got a very mild taste and、um, and it fills you up. It's got carbohydrates, it's got some nutrients in it, and, and there you go. But rice is actually so much more, and depending on how you cook it and what you do with it, you can produce the most delicious, most aromatic meals、um, you could ever imagine. And this、um, particular rice that we're, I'm going to talk about today is one of those. And you know what? You can consider it、um, as a main meal, as your pudding, your um, sweet um, um,、uh, um, a dish, and also even as a starter because it's going to be so aromatic, it's going to be so full of flavor, and it's going to be at the same time gentle and creamy. So it's going to be filling, it's going to be fragrant, and it's going to be very impressive. So, Um, and、um, what I'm going to say now、um, is probably going to surprise you. To achieve all of this that I've just described,、um, you won't need much. These ingredients here, as you can see,、um, this is actually、um, lime leaf, and this is a very special Thai、uh, fragrant lime, it's cafe lime. And、um, this is cardamom, and、um, this is lemongrass. That's all. That there is to it really. This is really the secret, the main secret, but there's more to it, so stay here. So, the rice I'm going to use is going to be、um, jasmine、uh, white rice. It's going to be one of the usual varieties. You can pick it from almost anywhere, any store, or order it. It's available in most countries. It's your、um, typical jasmine、uh, fragrant rice. The important thing about rice is that you have to wash it very thoroughly. And I have got other videos where I'm showing how important it is to wash your rice. So, with this recipe, you have to follow the same procedure. You wash your rice very thoroughly.、Um, and here I'm going to use、um, 100 gram. So, all of the ingredients and、um, the recipe here will be、um, measured for 100 gram of rice, of dry rice. Um, this is approximately、um, for, one, for one person. So, if you want、um, two portions, it's going to be 200 grams, three, etc. So,、um, so, you wash your 100 grams of rice, you soak it then for half an hour. Soaking is also quite important if you want to get this recipe done. So, I've just,、um, I've just been soaking my rice. Here it is.、Um, it's ready now. I'm going to drain this water now. Um, and um, I'm going to take you through the rest of this recipe. So I've drained my、um, water、uh, in which my rice was soaking, and you can see it's, and I've now added 150 milliliters of clean cold water, and this will be my cooking water. And can you see how clean and clear the water is? So when you wash your rice and when you soak your rice, at the end of all of this, when you add clean water, you should achieve this kind of clarity. So, if you have muddy or foggy water, that means you've not washed your rice properly and you need to keep washing. It is very important because that additional dirt and、um, starch will turn it into a mushy, sort of almost like porridge like substance, and you really don't want that. So, this is going to be the water and the rice which I'm going to be、uh, cooking. So, before I put it on,、um, on heat, I'm going to add.、Um, Uh, a little less than half a teaspoon of, of salt, so I'm just going to do it like this.、Um, you can add more or less depending on your taste,、um, but you don't want it to be too salty,、um, and also you don't want it、um, to miss your, your salt、um, either because you're going to be adding other ingredients and you want to balance the sweetness and the saltiness of it. So I'm going to put it on the stove and、um, In the meantime, I'm going to show you what I will be doing with these additional ingredients. So, this lime leaf、um, is very, very important because it provides that very interesting fragrance. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to crush it like this because when you crush it, it will release those aromatic components.、Um, oh, I can, I can smell it already. It will release more of those aromatic components and it will be much easier for these leaves to, to release those gorgeous things. 
here we are. So that goes in the pan. So my two cardamoms go as as they are in together with their pods. What you can do also, you can actually open these pods and there will be inside them there will be seeds. And then you can crush those seeds. And if you do that, um, you will get a much more intense flavour. But I'm not going to do it for this recipe because I've got lime leaf and I've got this uh, fragrant lime and I've got lemongrass. So I don't want one ingredient like cardamom to overpower. I want all of these ingredients to work in synergy together. And I believe um, this lemongrass um, works um, synergetically with the limes and lime leaves. Um, it produces um, altogether overall a very interesting flavour. It's both um, aromatic and sweet and tender and gentle and but at the same time it's not too powerful and it's not too overpowering. So I need to prepare my um, lemongrass sticks first of all. So what I do, I cut them in these sticks but um, in addition to cutting them in these um, segments I also, again, to help them release the flavour, I do an incision like this. So these incisions will help my lemongrass release the flavours. And another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to also unwrap one layer. Because this outer layer is um, usually more dry than, than the inner layers, and the outer layer um, will not um, have the freshest um, aromatic um, oils in them, um, but the inner deeper layers will have more gentle, more more fresher, basically, um, aromatic um, oils in them. So that goes in the pan. And now, with this line, what I'm going to do, I've already got one that I used before, so I'm going to cut this lime into segments like these and then I'm going to cut these further because they're all going to go in the pan and they're going to be adding additional um, notes of um, um, lime, fresh lime and lime juice into my overall um, fragrant rice experience. But these are not the only ingredients um, that will be adding a little bit of sourness. So, okay, I think that's enough. It only needs a little bit, um, and that's the... These limes themselves, they're so fragrant, you can literally keep one of these on your desk or in the kitchen, and it will be releasing gently those gorgeous flavours, lime. But this is not your typical lime. This lime has additional aromatic components and... Um, that's what makes the, this specific spicy lime so special. So that goes in the pan. And this is... And this is what I've got now inside my pan. So I've got salt, I've got um, my um, um, lemongrass, I've got my leaf, um, I've got my lime uh, bits cut as well. So, and all of this now goes on um, high heat uh, until it boils, and then I will reduce the heat and I will cook for about five minutes, really, five, no more than seven minutes. And um, there's more steps um, uh, as it cooks after um, I brought this um, entire mixture to boil. So I'm going to put it on the stove now. So my rice is now on high heat, and I am going to gently bring it to boil and after boiling for a couple of minutes I will show you the next step and the next step involves adding some butter and it's going to be approximately one teaspoon one tablespoon of butter and this butter will melt throughout um, my uh, my hot rice and it will add that additional creaminess and sweetness and also because my rice will be um, boiling on high heat um, this butter will caramelize gently but not heavily and it will add this additional caramel gorgeous caramel flavor to to this overall uh, mixture um, but that's not all in addition to butter there's another ingredient um, I'm going to show you but in the meantime it needs to uh, come to boil 
So as I'm waiting for my rice to start boiling, I'm going to show you how much butter I'm going to put. So for 100 gram, 100 gram of dry rice, 150 milliliter milliliters of water. This is about the this lump is about the you know the lump that I'm normally using. Um, it's usually enough. Um, you can add a little less if you want, or or a little more, but don't add too much more because it, it's just going to be too much butter in there. And if you don't add enough then your rice will not be as creamy and um, it might even burn at the bottom. So another ingredient I was going to show you is, is, is these red berries. These are barberries and barberries are known for their um, vitamin C content and um, sourness. And the reason why I want these barberries inside my rice is because exactly because it's very creamy it's going to have caramel um, notes in it it's going to have sweetness from the rice itself and from the butter and these sour notes will provide contrast and they will provide that extra special deliciousness in, in the overall mixture and it also makes what it is um, as I was telling you you could use this as a starter as a main meal or as your pudding it's all three in one um, because there are all these different ingredients and they work together really really well to provide contrast and your taste buds will thank you for it so my rice is actually ready for um, to for my butter to go in so I'm going to show you uh, what happens now so my rice started boiling and you can see all these ingredients are um, working together um, and at this stage when you um, you've had your rice boiling for a couple of minutes it's it's this moment when I'm adding um, my butter you don't want to add it at the beginning because it will not um, produce the best caramel um, results um, but also don't wait much longer I mean you can wait a little longer but don't wait too long because you want this butter to go around everywhere and melt evenly throughout and at this stage I'm also going to add my barberries so these barberries go in don't add too many but again at the same time don't don't be too stingy um, and now you can start mixing these components together because once you've done this mix you're going to close your your pan um, you don't want to disturb your rice too much and too frequently um, because it needs to develop that fluffiness and that um, gentle texture and if you keep disturbing it all the time constantly uh, there's a risk it will turn into um, a mushy substance and this is not what we're aiming for so the butter is finally almost melted and we can now move to the next final phase um, we're literally talking minutes in each phase. I mean, this is a very quick and most amazing meal. So here we are. So I'm going to close my pan now and allow it um, another couple of minutes before all of the water evaporates and then it will just stand uh, steaming for another couple of minutes and we're ready. So um, after another couple of minutes, um, the water has now completely evaporated and you can see the rice have become fluffy and light and beautiful and um, you can leave it for to steam for another couple of minutes but it's pretty much ready now so you can serve it hot but I would recommend to allow it to cool a little bit um, so that you you and your friends don't burn themselves when eating it and also there's another advantage in allowing rice to cool down apparently um, according to new research if you allow rice to cool down to lower temperatures after cooking then it becomes more resistant and this means basically it's not going to release all of its energy immediately as you eat it um, to give you a huge spike instead it will be releasing energy gradually it will be resistant and it will be um, broken down gradually in, in, in more even um, portions of, of time so on this wonderful note um, let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon